All right. <laughs> Don't waste time. It's 4K. It's gonna be like 10 gigs. <laughs> There's 512 in there. It's okay. It'll just take forever to upload. Hey everyone, Jason here, digital marketing consultant, and in this video, you're going to learn what the heck NRG management is and how you can use it to get more done and actually feel accomplished and not completely drained at the end of the day. To help us do that, we're joined by Janice, the productivity monster from Time Management and Productivity. I'll link up his channel in the description. So let's just go ahead and kick things off with what on earth is energy management? Right, so energy management is usually misunderstood concept. And the thing is that energy management is really what people try to do with time management. But the thing is that um, people usually look for time management because even I'm doing a lot of content on time management, I only got a couple of videos on energy management because people just don't search for it. But the truth is that when you manage time, you can't really manage time. You can only manage energy. And to you know, to give you an example, for example, let's say we have half an hour for you know for recording this video. No matter what we do, 30 minutes later, that half hour is going to be gone. Yeah, so, and it's 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 a, it's it's not in our you know reach to 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 manage it or to influence it. It's just going to be gone now. But what we can manage is energy. We can manage how much energy and effort we exert in order to achieve or accomplish our goal of recording this video. So, 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 so the energy management is really the time management that everybody tries to do uh, because at any given time you can control what energy you exert to, and on what tasks you're going to use that energy. So, and by understanding what energy management is, um, when I became aware uh, about energy management and how important it is, it helped me to raise my self-awareness about activities in what I engage with so I wouldn't be wasting my energy. So there are some things that you can do to uh, preserve your energy and not waste it. And then there are some things that you should be doing to increase your energy. So, so a, a good concrete example of how powerful this can be is just think about back to when you were in school and you had a paper the night before and somehow when you procrastinated you were magically able to get it done super quick. Well, part of energy management is making sure that you can actually tap into that kind of productivity and energy output and actually be able to do that on demand as opposed to you know the night before. So let's go ahead and go through kind of the two elements of this. So the first element is of course going to be making sure that whatever energy you have, you don't lose. <laughs> and then the second is how do we actually get more energy? So let's start with the first one, which is how do we make sure that whatever energy level we have doesn't drop? Yeah. So I would, I would want to express two points here uh, in terms of um, saving your energy uh, and that's going to go towards the things that actually use most of um, anybody's energy and number one thing is uh, different types of the stress. Now stress is usually created by things that you haven't done, right? Like you gave an example, uh, if you haven't done you know, your, your homework you know, you're gonna feel stressed, yep. yeah? And that's gonna consume a lot of your energy. Even without sitting down and doing the actual job, you're gonna be thinking and, you know, exerting energy all the time, which, which is unnecessary. So, so whatever you're doing, if you plan things ahead, and if you try, try to do everything on time, rather than leave it till later, that's, that's the way how you can, you know, save your energy instead of waste it on things like, you know, thinking about what's gonna happen, because you don't really need to do anything to lose the energy. You know, even just by thinking about it, it's just gonna, it's just gonna, you're just gonna lose your energy just by, just by thinking about what's gonna happen, how I'm gonna handle it and everything. So instead of doing that, you should be really focusing on and sitting down and saying, okay, I'm gonna do something and then, you know, spread it across the, the time frame uh, available for you to actually accomplish that and not to waste your energy. So the first thing would be, uh, would be the stress, definitely. Different types of the stress, we are all the time exposed uh, to different stresses and I would actually go further and say also um, exposed to information. It doesn't necessarily have to be stress. Yeah. The, 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 the human brain, as soon as it picks up a noise, a, a voice or anything, it starts to your process phone. it, <laughs> your phone, it starts to process it and that uses your energy, even unwillingly. Un unwillingly. So, uh, so anything, any kind of information that comes your way or any time you make a decision, oh, I want to pick up my phone and look at it, oh, I want to just open my email, every time you're going to be uh, losing that energy that you have and that's going to take away from you 
when you're gonna actually want to sit down and do your creative content or whether to work on, on some client work or, or whatever else. So, so it's very important to, um, to protect yourself from all these activities. Now, thing number two uh, with energy is environment. Now, again, uh, another thing that really impacts and influences um, humans is their surroundings and their environment. Uh, just to give a very simple example, um, I would say uh, your work desk or your workroom, depending how clean it is, you know, again, your brain, even if you, you know, unwillingly, even if you just sit down in a, in a messy desk, in a messy room, you know, and you will try to do some job, it might be that you're not as productive just because your brain is processing what is that paper doing there, what is that doing there, I cannot find my, my documents and everything else. So, so by, by tidying up your, your environment, you can really tap into um, a little bit that little bit extra energy that you might need and really focus on the things that you really need to do. So I guess that's that's really good in terms of making sure that you're setting yourself up for a structure and a day and an environment where you're not going to be losing energy. So now that we're making sure that nothing's leaking out in terms of our energy, how do we make sure that whatever we have is actually increased? So increase the energy we have. Yeah, of course, the, yeah, the flip side of the coin is how do you get more energy? And before, before we go into, you know, into the tactics or strategies that you can use to actually increase your energy, I would say energy is one of those things that 70% I would focus on preserving it yeah. and only 30% on, on, on doing it. Because like, of course, if we talk about the gym, yes, to, you know, to grow the muscle, to get bigger uh, or, or, to, or to lose weight, you got to work out and you got to, got to do the things. So there is a, like, you know, things that you can do to really increase it. But with energy management, it's a little bit opposite. You can't just magically, you know, uh, do some quick tips and tricks and, and suddenly generate energy. So, so before, before, you know, before I go into the strategies, I just want to emphasize the point that instead of focusing on, oh, what can I do? I'm gonna do all the things to increase my energy. 70% of the uh, time, I would say, you got to be careful before you take action on activities that will drain your energy, like being around the people that don't inspire you and you know, checking out your phone or, or doing all these activities, um, email checks that don't really need to be done, that you can really time block away in, in one time slot and then do them in, in, in a bulk in one go in your unproductive time at the end of the day, uh, probably. Now, talking about, uh, talking about the things that you can do to regenerate your energy, um, this, is, this is quite like common, and you yeah. probably hear this in every single video um, when people talk about, because I've, I've done so much content about different book reviews and, uh, and, and, and productivity tips, and, and this comes, comes across everywhere, so yeah? One, two, three, it's, all it's, the time. It's one, two, three, all the time. It's the, the, best, uh, the best way to cultivate energy is with your food, with your exercise, and with your sleep, you actually you know, uh, regenerate and rejuvenate your energy. So these are, the, these are the most important things, and I don't want to go really deep, yeah. because I think everybody have heard, <laughs> really and like it. every video I watch, they keep telling me that I need to eat healthy, that I need to exercise more, and I need to sleep my seven or eight hours. And, and that, that is true, That's you know, we, we can't take it away. And, and as much as content I've done on the energy management topic and how to increase energy, it always com comes across. And, and, and all the researchers point towards that, you know, if you eat healthy foods, um, your, your body just feels better. You don't have all these insulin spikes and everything, uh, and you just physically have more energy to, to, to focus. And the same goes for exercise and having appropriate sleep uh, to, you know, to, to recover. Uh, now, another thing that you can do to uh, increase your energy uh, is something that we've done with Jason for a long time is um, masterminds. Yeah. Surrounding yourself with the right people that really, you know, inspire you, literally inspire you. Uh, I've been attending different types of events um, where, I, where I go to see the people that inspire me uh, and it really takes you out of your environment. You know, you, you, you might be working on your business and everything is the same. You just create content, you, yeah, you, yeah. you, you generate yeah, leads, you do yeah. everything. <laughs> and, and, and it becomes like, it, I wouldn't say it becomes boring, uh, but it, it just becomes tiring to repeat but that. Yeah? yeah. And to put your, pull yourself out of that environment and, and, and get new juice and new energy is really good uh, to join masterminds. 
uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be like you know paid you know high tier groups no. it's just surrounding yourself with the right people because look we've been uh, we've been masterminding for over two years now yeah. right for over two years and you know first time we uh, we, we this is the first time we meet in, 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 in real but uh, first time we, we exchanged the emails was over two years ago and we just started to you know with the conversations and we find out hey these guys you know going in the same direction where I'm going so we might as well exchange the information that we learn and learn from each other and support when you know and it's always not been like really you know nice and uh, nice and shiny it's been you know tough times you know when things don't work out and yeah. you know the strategies fail uh, but it still keeps you going so getting inspired is another great way how you can increase your energy and you know ongoingly keep you know keep you keep keep like rejuvenating so so yeah so so I would say these are the main things that really um, can generate your energy and uh, yeah and help you to really um, be more productive uh, because like you know going back to our, uh, our, our initial point you you really got to prioritize things that you need to do um, I think there is also a very strong correlation in terms of energy with the willpower because uh, because with the, with the willpower it's usually kind of drains throughout the day you wake up you got it's maximum here. willpower yeah and then throughout the day it, it just um, kind of you know it goes away so you have to make sure if you want to use your most productive you know time your when you have most willpower do the hardest tasks in the morning uh, because in the afternoon when you're already tired you have already been checking your emails and doing stuff you're not gonna be able to sit down and do really creative work so try to make sure that you know when you wake up you schedule the most important task even if it's yep. the hardest and I find that when I do the hardest task like I feel proud of myself uh, I feel it gives proud you of momentum for yeah the it gives day. you a momentum and then sometimes I even when I finish all my time blocks throughout the day and I'm like hey I can do some more <laughs> I can do some literally more stuff and I just go and do more oh. and rather than you know wasting that time I, I use that time but of course it's also important you know to schedule that rest time because you can't keep going forever you know you can for a short periods of time if there is a deadline approaching or if there is a, a project that you need to launch that usually gives you a lot of energy because you got like almost adrenaline you know that yeah, you want you're to you're like, like yeah you're, you're yeah. on it so so that's that's not a problem but you know having occasional rest is fine and then the last tip that I would give um, that can like this, this this would be like a quick tip yeah this is like okay you're feeling down you've been working on something it didn't work out in the morning it's midday you think that's it my day is wasted right. try to have a try to have a nap you know sleeping you know helps your you know body to recover so if you go for you know 25 minute nap and then you wake up maybe stretch out a little bit uh, to get the, the blood circulating and give it another go and it might as well work so so those would be the things that you can do to really increase your energy and and, and be more you know finally get things done yeah because energy management is absolutely key because at the end of the day we all have the same amount of time the only thing that we can really change is how much we get done in that time. So thank yeah. you so much for joining us. Check out his channel in the description if you want to learn more about how to be productive and become a productivity monster just like this guy. Go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button for more content like this. And until the next, keep building the business you love.